Hi everyone, this is Aviator Sim and welcome back to another video. Today we have episode 1 of a new series that I'm doing. Uh, we will be looking at uh, Sky Park. It's a new program similar to Air Hauler 2 and with a lot of contract flying and I'm starting to love it. So I can see this being a very long series. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay with me throughout the duration of this series. Let's get into it. All right, everyone, welcome aboard. We are currently at Willis Airfield in Piedmont, Alabama, and we will be delivering particle board to Clio Airport. We just loaded the uh, particle board on. It would be a green button right here that says load, and I click that, and we picked up the particle board, and you can tell that by the check. Now, um, our highest obstacle along our route is uh, 1,200 feet, so I'm just going to fly at a uh, either 2,000 or 3,000 feet. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how the scene really looks at uh, 2,000 feet, but it may be 2,000 feet. We are 122 nautical miles from our destination. All papers are in order, thank you. And go over to planned flight. I'm just gonna do a direct VFR flight. And I'm gonna click fly. And now it's just going to track, um, track our flight. So I'm just gonna take off here, we're on runway 24 here at uh, Willis grass strip so I hope you guys enjoy sit back and relax I'm just going to put this tablet away for right now make sure we have everything set on the plane just gonna put the altitude up to 2,000 feet right now turn on the vertical speed start out start at about uh, 600 the vertical speed flight direct is on that's good CDI it's on GPS all right everything looking good here landing light is on fuel pump on I like my fuel pump on when I take off all right we look good to go hopefully no deer crossing on this uh, Air, airfield. Right parking brake coming off. Power out. Power in, excuse me. Need a little more when you're dealing with the, uh, when you're dealing with the grass strips. Right takeoff power set. Looking for 70 knots on rotation. Alright, let's turn in. Turn left. So I can just get aligned with my, uh, my route. Pull back on these RPMs a little. Flaps coming up. And I'm just going to go up to 3,000 instead of 2,000 right now. Right, we're looking good. And I'm just going to turn the autopilot on. First time flying in Alabama in any sim. Uh, I started flying on the sims in, uh, I think it was Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004, a century of flight. That's when I started. I've never been to Alabama in any of them. And all it took was a uh, parallel 42's sky park to get me here. I'm one of those people on flight sim who likes flying with a purpose, and that purpose for me for a long time was uh, air hauler and air hauler two. And I just purchased air hauler two 
uh, last week. And come to find out a couple days ago, Parallel 42 released Sky Park. I didn't really have any knowledge of it at first, but I tested it out. I did the introductory flight with uh, Jeff. There's a character named Jeff on there. And I absolutely loved it. So my last video was episode one of my new Air Hauler 2 series for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And after flying Sky Park, after that first introductory flight with Sky Park, I don't think there will be any more episodes for Air Hauler. Because Sky Park is the way to go. And the biggest difference is Air Hauler 2, there's more sit down and arrange um, you're managing a company and it takes time away from actually flying sky park gets you right into the plane into the air you do these jobs and it's it's great right as we're leveling out for our cruising altitude of 3,000 feet just gonna take off the fuel pump pretty clear day out here so I'm just gonna take off the landing light no need to have that on right now even though we're below 10,000 feet all right we are cruising throttle could go to about 75 percent Right, so here I have the tablet for uh, Sky Park. Let's go back. Um, so this is just information on our flight. This is the Willis Airfield AL68, and this is uh, Clio Airport that we're flying to, distance 122 nautical miles. Scroll down here. Here we have the recommended aircraft that you should be flying this with. So this is a piston, and that is what I'm flying it with. Information on the job information on the runways that um, you can land at so I'm definitely gonna go for either the runway 1 or runway 19er current XP that you earn from this flight current karma that's a good one um, so this flight will be considered uh, a good karma flight plus one toward the good side because I'm flying with clear sky if you take a job with the I forget the company's, the company's name, but the company with the Wolf logo, you'll earn bad karma, and I'm assuming those are equivalent to the, uh, the narcotics jobs in Air Hauler 2. So I'm definitely one person that is going to take that job because, yeah, you'll earn bad karma, but the payout is going to be a little higher, I'm assuming. So the payout for this flight is $320. Holdings introductory flight, which I said I did, $25 for that. So holdings, your your bank account, your progress that you're making. Your flight is the flight planner, and conduit is what we were just in. So different things to uh, scroll back and forth between, and occasionally you'll hear um, messages from your assistant named Bridget. You'll definitely hear her as soon as you um, start this program for the first time. She runs through tips and just gives you tips on how to navigate this tablet. And then for your introductory flight, it will be um, with Jeff. He'll check in with you halfway through the flight. So it's really, really immersive. And it's, it's what was missing from Air Hauler 2. So back to your flight. Where are we? Here we are. So 109 nautical miles to go and about 50 minutes left of this flight. So for right now, everything's looking good. I have everything set up. We can get some views of the plane from the outside. We are 11 nautical miles, well, 10 nautical miles out from the airport. I'm going to start descending down to about uh, 1,000 feet. So let's just minimize this.
vertical speed. And we can descend at about a... Uh, let's do 800 feet per minute, pulling back on the power. Just want to check uh, the VFR map real quick and see where we are. So we only have about a thousand feet to work with on the runway. Eight nautical miles out now. Pull back on the throttle, throttle a little more. Increase the vertical speed by a thousand. My fuel pumps can come on, landing light can come on, since that is our intention. And it tells us that this is asphalt, so we have a thousand feet a thousand foot runway and it does say asphalt is a picture of the runway not seeing anything yet I'm thinking this might be it right here but we will see a little over five and a half nautical miles out go ahead and put down the first set of flaps looking good so far still don't have the runway in sight just under five nautical miles Right, so the runway that we need is going to be to the right. So we see here there's four runways here. We want this one right here. It's the longest one, the 1,000-foot runway. The others are around 1,000 feet, but this is 1,008 feet to be exact. And this looks like it right here. So I'm just going to turn off my autopilot because I do have it in sight. And here we go. Weird looking, uh, weird looking airport. I've never seen anything like this. There's four runways here, all about a thousand feet. Pretty interesting. And again, I would would have never found anything like this if um, it wasn't for flying with a uh, Sky Park, because I've flown with Air Hauler and Air Hauler Two for maybe four, four or five years. And I've definitely never run into anything like this. Alright, short runway, so let's uh let's try for a really good approach. Second set of flaps coming down. Taking some of this power out. 
really gonna have to uh, slam on the brakes. Power all the way out. And we made it. Oh, that was nice. Glad we didn't fail that. Alright, I'm just gonna go off here to the side. Park and brake on. Turn my pedo heat. Turn the pedo heat off. Avionics can come off. Fuel pump off. Landing light off. Turn all those lights off. And engine off. Now let's deliver the particle board. Job completed. $387. Uh, we, we get extra because of the so it was 320 but now 387 I guess we get extra maybe that has to do with the XP or a good flight but uh, I'm not complaining looks good to me let's close out of this and there we have it that is our flight and a good thing about this is our next flight does not have to be from this airport. We just go by the contracts. So in the background, which we won't see, you're basically like I'm basically landing here and then I'm taking a flight to somewhere else to start another contract job. And that I like a lot. I would like to thank everyone who joined me today on our very first Sky Park episode. This is looking to be a very long series on my channel and I hope you guys will enjoy. I want to thank you again, and I can't wait for the next video. See ya.